Today we will see how to delineate watershed in QGIS, derive a stream network and add an outlet point. First of all open a new project in QGIS, then click on layer, add layer, add raster layer. Then browse your DEM that you would have downloaded from USGS Earth Explorer website or Bhuvan. Browse using the three dots. Then click on open, add and close this. So the DEM is added. The next thing is to install one plugin, which is quick map services. For that, go to plugins, manage and install plugins. Search for the plugin quick map services. Here as I have already installed this plugin, so it will show me reinstall plugin or uninstall plugin. But if you have not installed it, then you will get an option of install plugin. It will take a few seconds to get installed. Then after you can close this. Then in the menu toolbar, you can see the option is web, quick map services, OSM, OSM standard. Then in your added layers, on the left side, just right click on the layer DEM and go to properties. Then after go to information. As you can see, it is geographic. CRS is geographic. We will change it to projected. So just cancel and then go to raster in menu toolbar. Then go to projections. And then warp. So it will be reprojected. Here an in input layer, it will be DEM. And we need to select the target CRS. Use that browse icon. Untick that no CRS. And then filter. First of all, you will need to search your UTM zone. So here my UTM zone is 45N. So I'll just write WGS 84 45N. You will need to write it completely like WGS 84 UTM 45N. Then click on OK and run. Once it's completed, just close it. Then in the status bar, you can see this EPSG 4326. We need to change that also. So again, it will be the same. Search for WGS 84 UTM zone. Here it is 45N for my case. You can search your UTM zone by using a website. I'll provide that link in description. Then apply and then OK. So now the CRS has been changed to projected one. I'll just untick this DEM. Then you will go to processing and toolbox. Then after search for field sinks and in that we'll click on field sinks Wang and Liu. Here in DEM you will have to select reprojected. Then we'll untick everything except the field DEM. Like the flow directions, untick that and watershed basins also. We'll just keep the field DEM and then run. It will take a few seconds. 
Don't stop the process in between. Here it's done. Now you can click on close. So we have got our field DEM. The next step is in processing toolbox, search for Stralar order. And then just double click on that Stralar order. Here in elevation, it will be field DM and then we just need to run it. And then close. So as you can see on the left side, we have got it from 1 to 11. Then just untick all the layers and zoom into the location from where you want to delineate the watershed. Then after go to raster and raster calculator. Here double click on straddle order at 1 and in operator select greater than equal to. Here in this case I am keeping it as 6 as my bends are from 1 to 11. Then an output layer give a file name of your choice. I am keeping it as STO. Then just save it and click on OK. So now as you can see instead of 1 to 11 it is 0 1. Then right click on that go to properties go to transparency and then an additional no data value just keep it as 0 then apply and ok so you'll be clearly able to see from where you need to delineate then in menu toolbar just click on that eye arrow icon and as you can see on the right side in processing toolbox in the results viewer when you will click on a stream then here I am getting as no data band as one and this is the location from where I want to delineate my watershed and there I should get band as one The next step will be upslope area. So in processing toolbox search for upslope and double click on upslope area. Then here you need to input this target x and y coordinates. As you will get this coordinates in the results viewer. Just copy the x and y coordinates. First coordinate you will need to copy in the target x coordinate and second in the target y coordinate. Then in elevation, we will have to select the field DM. And in method, it will be 0 deterministic 8. And then run. And then close this. The watershed has been delineated. I'll just zoom to layer. And don't compare your results because the delineation will depend on the location from where you have delineated from the target inputs that you have given. Then go to raster and conversion polygonize raster to vector. Input layer will be upslope area and then run. It's done, then just close this.
then in vectorized right click open attribute table just delete the features having d d n as zero for that click on that toggle editing which is a pencil like key you can see and then delete then just save your edits third icon is which is save edits then close this by performing the last step we converted it from raster to vector and now we will derive the stream network for that in the processing toolbox search for channel basins and then as you can see this channel network and drainage basins double click on that and in threshold you will need to input the value that you have given in raster calculator here for my case i had given it as 6 and then in elevation select field dem and untick all these like flow directions flow connectivity stralar order then the drainage basins just keep this channels as we want to derive the stream network junctions and then run then close this so we have also derived the stream network now we'll just clip it in processing toolbox search for polygon clipping or just type clipping you'll get this polygon clipping double click on that and in clip features select vectorized and input features will be your channels then run you can also give the file name and it will be good if you give your file name give the file name and then save it and then run then just close this then I'll untick this channels and this is done and the last thing that I want to show you is how to add an outlet point like I want to add my outlet point at this location then I'll go to layer create layer new shapefile layer give the file name as outlet browse using the three dots and in geometry type select point even you will need to change these coordinates it will be same like utm zone 45 n give the name outlet and save it click on ok then select that layer right click on it and go to toggle editing and then add point feature then just zoom to the place where you want to add the outlet point just click there and here you can write it as one and ok so as you can see the outlet point has been added so this is how you can delineate the watershed and just save that layer edits 
derive the stream network and add an outlet point and one more thing i have written all the steps in my blog and i'll provide the link in description if you have any doubt then you can just read that thank you